Hello viewer, in this tutorial I am going to teach you how to install Apple Mac OS X on VMware Workstation 11. So let's begin. What do we need? The first thing we need to download the Mambrick 10.9.2.2 untouched.iso. You can download it from any torrent, then VMware Workstation 11 and then we need to download Unlocker for Workstation 11. This is a very important file. Without the Unlocker file, we cannot install Mac. So let's see, this is the unlocker 2.0.2 VMware Workstation 11. I have already downloaded and extracted. And here it is the Mambrick 10.9.2 untouched ISO file that I have downloaded from torrent site. Now let's see why we need that unlocker. If you open the VMware Workstation 11 and then click on create a new virtual machine and you create a custom virtual machine with compatible VMware 11. And here see in the guest operating system list you cannot see any Apple Mac OS X even on the other option. So to enable the Apple Mac OS X in the guest operating system list we need to patch VMware Workstation 11 and we have to thanks the developer of this patch. They really help the community. So just click on the win dash install and run it as an admin. Let's take a few seconds to patch it. And here, let's take some time to patch it. Okay, the patching is done. It is stop and restart the VMware Workstation service. Now we go again, VMware Workstation and then again click on create a new virtual machine. And then again choose custom. Compatibility Workstation 11 and then choose the last option System Letter and here see now we have the Apple Mac OS X options and if you click on the version it support the latest and the previous version of Mac OS X so just select 10.10 .10 and uh, I'm going to create a folder destination folder my E drive and give it a name uh, Mac 10.10 VM you can give as you like so I choose this folder and click OK and click next I choose the default BIOS firmware that EFI this is the latest BIOS version and click next then I choose one processor then click next I leave it as a default this is the minimum requirement to run the Mac OS X but and choose the netting option in internet and choose the LSI logic as recommended and SATA as recommended and create a new virtual drive leave it as a default 40 GB and store in a single drive and I click next give it this name I accept as a default then click on custom hardware and go to CD drive choose an IOS image file and then I choose that downloaded file Mambrick 10.9.2 which I have downloaded from Torrent and then close it and finish and run this virtual machine oops we get an error vcpu-0 verify error so to resolve this problem what we need to do we need to modify the virtual machine configure file that is on my emac 10.10 vm that is my destination folder to for this virtual machine so i just right click on the os uh, vmx file which is the uh, configuration file for any virtual machine here you can see in the type that is your virtual machine configuration file and just go down little bit down and there you see smp dot present is equal to true just under this line add another line smc dot version is equal to zero and at the uh, and below this also add one line that's called cpu id dot one dot ex and some id you can get this id in my below description of this video so now we run this virtual machine and boom there it is now it's run without any problem see so 
it just take a little while to boot the virtual machine here it's our lovely apple so I spin up it is searching some file okay so now choose use the English for the main language and click on the next button Set up the installation access, click continue, okay. And then I agree the uh, agreement, okay. And here you see we can't see any disks to install this operating system. So to get the disk here, what we need to do, we need to go utility, and from there we need to choose disk utility. This utility and here you see my 40 GB VMware virtual hard drive then click erase and erase this drive basically we partition this drive with Mac OS extended, extended generalized this is the file system which is used by the Macintosh so I just erase it it's give me a warning that all the data will be removed I accept it so see this erase and then mounting the disk here it is So right now it says it untitled because I have not given any label to it when I was erased this drive. So that's it. Here it is. Now you see we have the drive selected and then click on install. So it's take it 23 minutes to install the OS X. So I'm going to pause this video and come back when the installation will finish. Here it is. The solution is flesh. Now I choose the United States as a country and keyboard as US. You can choose as India or any country as well. So I don't want to transfer any information right now. So I select last one next. I don't have any Apple ID right now. So I click on don't sign in and then click continue. I asks me that you really want to skip it. Yes, because I don't have really a Apple ID right now. Later I will be create. And I agree the software license agreement. I agree it. And it asks us some descriptions about the user account. So computer account. So I give a full name administrator, account name as administrator, and then type the password for the administrator. Okay. Again type the password for verification. Now hint is an optional. You can give it or you can leave it as you wish. This is help you if you can't recall your password. So I leave other option as it is and click continue. Okay, it's take a few time minute. Okay, it's asking to register this Mac. I don't want to register right now. Let I will register it and click on continue. And I really want to skip this. That is taking some time to set up the set up your system. And boom! Here is it. Here it is. My Mac 10.9.2 memory is successfully installed. So the next thing we need to do is to install the VMware tool to enhance the graphic enhancements and the other features. So I go to uh, my CD drive and then I go to my desktop where I have unzip my unlocker file then under that unlocker file in tool I choose Derwin.iso which is the and then select the connected and this will mount my VMware tool for this Macintosh so I just double click on this and then click on continue will ask me where I want to install it then click install then it asks me for the credential install this tool I give my password and then click on install and then again click on continue installation let's take a few seconds to install this VMware tool on this machine then it will ask for restart so just go and hit on restart now my system is rebooting so the first thing you will see after rebooting that now you can see 
the uh, you can see the Mac operating system with full graphic just give it a password and here see so now the graphic also enhance and other features are available after installing this tool okay so installation part is done so now let's check that we have net connectivity or not because if you remember in the beginning I choose a net <coughs> option for networking and uh, let's see because I have network connect internet connectivity on my host system so let's see my guest system is uh, yes it is can access the internet through the netting on the guest virtual machine so I hope you enjoyed this video and learn how to install Macintosh on VMware Workstation 11. If you like this video, please do subscribe my channel and you can upgrade this version to 10.10 .10 by using the Apple Store.